is this the right time for more QE? We want to get the view of Nobel laureate Myron Scholes, who's currently a professor at Stanford University's Graduate School of Business, joins us live now from Lindau, Germany. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Great to have you on the show. So what are your expectations of Ben Bernanke's speech at Jackson Hole on Friday and indeed the prospects for more QE, more stimulus in the U.S.? I, I think that uh, he's not going to be as uh, as he was in last year's meeting, uh, uh, talking about uh, new possibilities of a quantitative easing program. I think that the amount of liquidity in the uh, market now is uh, is uh, amazingly large, and I don't think that. Uh, adding additional liquidity is going to do that much for uh, the U.S. economy. If he wants to uh, buy bonds, uh, then basically the bonds and uh, prices in the U.S. are such that yields are very low. The 10-year is under 2 percent at the current time. Uh, so there's not much room there. So you don't think we're likely to see, if we don't see QE3 now, could there be possibly more stimulus next year? I think that uh, he might talk, uh, in my view, this is only speculation, but I think that he might uh, talk about the European situation and the uh, role of the global community in uh, fostering uh, growth around the world. Uh, it might be the case, and this is just supposition on my part, that he said there might be a coordinated effort to actually, uh, for the U.S. and maybe in conjunction with China, and China's already been doing it to some extent, uh, to have uh, used some of the power to, of the uh, Federal Reserve to actually buy uh, European instruments, European bonds. You mentioned the European situation, and there seems to be this new cloud of uncertainty forming over Europe's banks at the moment. Is that justified? Could, be, could we be on the cusp of another banking crisis? Uh, yeah, there's a possibility uh, for that. I think that uh, part of the problem in uh, Europe at the current time is to uh, is the funding of banks and uh, basically the uh, governments uh, trying to decide on uh, some form of transfer uh, policy uh, and at the same time uh, pressure on the uh, European Central Bank uh, to actually relieve some of the uh, pressure in the uh, banking system by undertaking. Um, uh, buying uh, bank uh, bonds of uh, Spain and Italy. I think that uh, there's issues now whether uh, the central bank will print money or expand reserves and reduce interest rates in Europe uh, to relieve the pressure on the banking system. So you think that the banks do need to be recapitalized? I would think so, but it's the, how to do it politically is very difficult at this time. And what needs to be done then to protect taxpayers if we are indeed going to see a banking crisis? Well, the uh, issue, the issue is that uh, the assets that the, uh, I'm not saying we're having a banking crisis, but the issue is that the banks uh, themselves are holding assets that, uh, uh, and are holding especially uh, bonds of, uh, of Italy, Spain, and other countries uh, such as uh, Greece, and uh, particular Greece, uh, those bonds have to be written down. And uh, given that the losses have already occurred, the fundamental issue is who uh, incurs those uh, losses. Do uh, taxpayers do it directly through transfers uh, from the uh, federal governments uh, to the other countries to actually sustain their economies? Or is it done through um, the European Central Bank buying bonds that are later mm. uh, themselves written down? So, or is it done through direct transfers of capital? Uh, so the fundamental issue is how do you get from the current situation to a new situation? And uh, that's what the current debate is uh, in Europe at the moment. Mrs. Scholes, the financial markets seem to have been in the throes of great turbulence, great turmoil over the past few weeks with debt negotiations in the U.S., a subsequent downgrade not to mention Europe's sovereign debt crisis as well. You've lived through, possibly even been at the center of a financial panic with the collapse of your fund, long-term capital management. What advice would you give investors in trying to navigate this current environment? Uh, I, uh, you know, I actually, the idea of uh, investors at this time is to realize that there's, uh, with po politics involved, 
in uh, the current situation that uh, it leads to additional risk and as a result of that uh, more risk capital or more um, capital to sustain, to sustain uh, the evolution from where we currently are to the new evolution is needed. Really good to get your views. Thanks so much. Nobel laureate Myron Scholes, uh, currently a professor at Stanford University's Graduate School of Business.